Hey guys, today I'll show you the first steps on the refit of my Kingfisher 30. So after I beached the Kingfisher, I took a few things apart, like the sails, the boom, which is all cracked and needs fixing, the stanchions, because the, uh, the through holes were leaking badly, um, the solar panel mounts, which are awful, <laughs> I need to do a proper arch at some point. Uh, I will show you all that in a separate video. Today we're going to concentrate on the hull, the build skills, the skeg and the rudder. So I decided that since summer's here already and I want to be out there sailing, not here beached, I'll just do a quick sanding, primer, lick of paint below the waterline and let's have a look at that. Right, I had to change mask. Now I look like Ant-Man, but a <laughs> bit safer, I guess. I tried lifting the boat off the sand so I could paint all of the keels. So I started by raising the skeg a bit more so the boat wouldn't be at a steep angle on the beach. And that went okay, no problems there. but it didn't really work that well for the kills. No, that little jack can't lift all this. It's only two and a half ton, both is five and a half, something like that, so no way. Gonna have to work this some other way. So I started scraping and sanding as much of the rust off the kills as I could. Easier said than done though. Yesterday I sanded most of the kills and the hull and that's one day's corrosion. <laughs> Salt water going up to there and all that was clean, it's now rusted again. So I'm going to try and get most of this out and that using this wire brush that I, I'm going to put on the grinder. This is really, really thick wire and hopefully this will help me take all the, well, most of the rust off. Don't use this unless you have an adjustable speed machine because otherwise the vibration on a high rev grinder is going to be too much. You're going to be fighting it all the way. These kills are almost 60 years old and being made of steel there is some pitting due to rust. I don't have time this year to take it to be sandblasted so I'll get rid of as much rust as I can and hope the treatment lasts well at least a season. Let it dry. I'm going to apply some primer this afternoon. Now I need to have some lunch. It's really hot. I'm going to use Empatex Impulse Primer. Thanks for Pedro giving me a kick ass price on this. That's the primer finished. Okay, the tide does actually reach halfway up the kills, so I'm gonna have to pressure wash everything because there's probably salt on the primer now, and I'll do the the whole hole as well because. Um, 
it was pretty windy yesterday and the spray probably deposited some crystals on the hull itself so wash time I'm going to apply the first coat of paint and I'm going to use ample cruising performer uh, someone gave me this paint which is exactly the same and that one as well so that will be the first coat I've got another couple of cans at home of Impulse mile I think mile something that's what I'm going to use for the second coat and third coat but for now cruising performance it is Perfect. Right, now I'm gonna do the kills because that's the where the water is gonna get first. And I only have like five five hours before the water gets this high. getting too windy I can feel the Sun being blown gonna be like sandpaper all right that's the first coat done and I would like to thank Pedro you can see me and him on our coat island skiffs on this video the next day I applied one more coat of impulse mild extra paint but I think you guys have seen enough sunning and painting for now. Next week I'll try to finish the mooring boy setup, which it's always fun. I'm gonna be deep in mud. <laughs> also try to sand the decks so I can apply some anti-skids. That's fundamental if I wanna go sailing. And also I'll start looking at how to fix the leaks on the stanchion mountings and how I'm going to mount them back on. And again, I want to thank you all for your support. You guys have been awesome. If you haven't bought me a coffee yet and you want to do so, there's a link in the description below and all the money will go towards replacing the stolen camera gear. I will not use any of the money for anything else other than buying the cameras so I can make videos for you guys. So stay safe and I'll see you next week.